A car is traveling at 14 meters per second. How fast would the car need to go to double its kinetic energy? But what factor does the car's kinetic energy increase if its speed is doubled to 28 meters per second? Okay, so let's make a list. Um, actually, let's do a picture first. Okay, so we have a car. I have a car here going along at 14 meters per second. And let's see, how fast does it need to go to double its kinetic energy? Okay, so in this case, they don't tell us any mass, right? Um, and for the kinetic energy formula, we know it's one half times the mass times velocity squared. So what's going on here? Well, since they don't give it to us, we could pick whatever mass we want. We could say it's a thousand kilograms. We could say it's 10,000 kilograms, 100 kilograms, it doesn't matter. So since it doesn't matter, let's pick something that's gonna make it really easy on ourselves. Let's pick two kilograms. Now, you'll see why in just a second. So if we pick two, one half of two is one, right? Okay, so whenever we do our equation, one half of two is one, so we can just leave it out and say the kinetic energy is equal to the square of the velocity in this case. So now let's figure out how much kinetic energy it has. Kinetic energy is equal to 14 meters per second squared. 14 squared is 196 joules for our two kilogram car. Okay, so they say how fast does it need to go if we wanna double that? So let's double it. So times two, our kinetic energy now is equal to 392. 196 times two equals 392 joules. And that's our total kinetic energy that we want doubled. So that will be equal to one half of our two kilogram car times V squared. So now when we divide by one half of two, we're dividing by one half two, that all goes away. We're just dividing by one, which is equal to one. So now 392 is equal to V squared. Square root both sides. And the square root of 392 is equal to, is equal to 19 point basically eight zero meters per second. And when you put it into mastering uh, physics, they will say, just give me two significant figures, so it's 20 meters per second. Okay, so now for part B. Part B says, by what factor does the car's kinetic energy increase if its speed is doubled to 28 meters per second? Okay, so we know that we have 196 joules to deal with to start out. So let's figure out how much kinetic energy we have at 28 meters per second. So I'm gonna leave everything else the same, and so I'm not gonna bother showing the one half of two again. So kinetic energy is equal to 28 squared. So 28 squared is equal to 784. So the kinetic energy now, when the speed is doubled to 28, is 784 joules. Okay, so now what they do, they even tell you in Mastering Physics, if we take kinetic energy of two and divide it by kinetic energy of one, that'll tell us by what factor it uh, was double, uh, increased. So if we take 784, joules divided by 196 joules. That gives us 784 divided by 196. The kinetic energy is 
increased by a factor of 4.